Hello, and um, we're back down on the Hamble. We're in our home port today, and we've come to look at this beautiful Marlow 42 named Galadriel. We've just taken her on, so her full specification will be on our website at www.jiyachts.com. But the purpose of today's video is just to give you a walkthrough tour of her so you can see her first impression, how she's laid out, and I'll also tell you a little bit about how she's set up for blue water cruising. Now, she is a 2002 boat and she's in her original ownership. I believe she was the last Marlow 42 to be built. She's a two cabin version, but she has a slightly larger galley than the usual Marlow 42 and a slightly larger aft heads. So we'll go through the boat and I'll show you that as we come back towards the back of the boat in a moment. So we we'll come into her saloon. She has very, very attractive blue upholstery, which was new in 2015 dining table we're looking at here you can see that all folds open the leaves come up so that you have a bigger dining space she has bunks on either side so these are sea berths on either side single sea berths and they do have lee cloths but I think what I really like about her is the way her forward owner's stateroom is set up this is a super comfortable place and she's beautifully finished typical Scandinavian style really wonderful mahogany but this is the owner's stateroom. Lots and lots of stowage. And we'll come inside. So I can show you that on our port side, we'll just come through here, open this door. There we are. So this is the, the heads on the port side. Just come down here and show you. Here we are. And then on the starboard side, we have another door. And she has a completely separate shower room. So for the owner, this is a very, very comfortable and well appointed cabin. So I say lots of stowage. But it's just got a really nice, warm, comfortable feel. This is beautiful mahogany in here. So for a couple, this is a very, very comfortable yacht for long distance and long term liverboard. And then she has, and we'll see it in a moment, she has a, a double cabin aft and a day heads. So if you are having guests, they have their own private accommodation. Now she's also set up to be easily handled. She has an electric winch in the cockpit. She has a bow thruster. She's had new sails in 2018. And she's going to be re-rigged in the next few weeks as well. So she'll have new standing rigging in the next few weeks. Super set up for long distance communication. She has SSB with a packed on modem. We'll just go over to the chart table and I'll show you. She's got an Iridium satellite phone there as well. Now what you're seeing here is, is radar down here, but she has a newer E7, or no, not an E7, it's an E-series, it's much larger than the E7, um, chart plotter in the cockpit. There will be photos and specifications on our website, as I say, at www.jiyachts.com. Then I'm going to come back round here. This is the aft heads, which, as I say, is slightly larger than the standard Milo 42. And this is great if you're on passage, if you're on watch, you've got a really good head, day heads right next to the companionway. And the second double cabin is here. Again, well fitted out, beautifully finished mahogany. And there's a double berth here. And then we have the galley, very safe, very secure. Again, right next to the companionway. So if you're feeding guests or crew late at night, hot soup, hot tea, hot coffee, very easy to just pass everything straight up. But it's well finished again and beautiful Corian worktops, double sink. And then here, I'll come round 
got a top loading freezer but we've also got a front loading fridge here so as I say she is well set up for long distance cruising apart from being well thoughtfully put together in terms of communication and she's also very self-sufficient she has a wind generator she has solar power she has a diesel generator she's also got hydrovane self-steering so for a long distance cruising yacht for a couple or small family i think she's about as well set up as you're likely to find she's a lovely yacht to be on down below it's a, a winter's day here now in the uk but this is a, a really nice warm and cozy feeling cabin i think she's a really really attractive boat as a livable boat full details will be on our website at www.jryachts.com but here is just a short introduction video so you can get an idea of how galadriel is laid out and how she set up